Okay, guys, take out your notes from yesterday. The box and dot plots, we did this already. We did that. We did this. Uh, we did that as well. We did this here. So here we are. Let's do one more example. We'll be done with statistics, okay? One more. So uh, here we are. Write this down in real time. Example. Construct a box plot. for the following for the following list of shoe scores for the following list of shoe scores so suppose we wanted to gather nine pieces of information nine pieces of information so open up a set and give me eight commas one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and close that set. So let, let me go and get some information. I want nine pieces of information. So what I'm going to do is we're going to look at a pair of shoes and we're going to see how cool those shoes are. We're going to score them from one to a hundred. Let's go off and let's get some scores and then we'll come back here shortly thereafter. We need nine numbers. So I have nine pairs of shoes and we're going to score each pair. We're going to rank them something between one and a hundred. Now, when I say we, I mean I, and whatever score I give them, you, just, you write that down and then we'll do some math with those numbers. So let's get started here. Take a gander at these bad boys. How do you guys feel about these between one and a hundred? What are we thinking? Between one and a hundred, I feel like giving these a score of 80. Eight, zero. So write down eight, zero. How about some vans? We've got some vans in the house. We got some plain, simple, low top white vans. Nice and clean. Check these out. Have a gander at them. Really nice, really clean, really simple. You can rock this with many different outfits. I give these, I give these an 85. Write down 85, 85. Some more Jordans. We got some more Jordans in the house. We got some retro ones. Take, take a look at these bad boys. Check out the color scheme. Nice orange ones. You see that? Nice and pretty, nice and clean. Let's give these an 86. 86 for these old school high top Jordans. There's some Chuck Taylors in the house, some Converse. Now, my niece and nephew, they don't like these. I was like, guys, should I get these? And they were like, ew, no deal, those are gross. But you know what, I can wear what I want. I like these, they're psychedelic, I like the colors, they're cool. I can rock these anytime I want. I'm gonna give these an 84, okay? Write down 84, 84, 84. You got some more Jordans. These are kind of like the ones I showed you just a moment ago, but these are a different color scheme, right? These are like the Chicago ones, right? different color scheme, but these are nice and I like the other ones more. So I've, I'm going to score these below the other ones. Let me give these a 78, a 78. Okay. Write down a 78 for these retro ones. You can't always wear Jordans. Sometimes it's raining outside and it's cold and you want to keep your feet warm. So sometimes you need some boots. Okay. Just some, some formal wear, some formal boots. This may not be your style, but I like boots like this. I like buying boots like this all the time. Again, it may not be your style, but I dig these. So let's give this an 82, okay? 82 for these boots, 82. We got some Adidas, some old school low top Adidas. Check it out. I like these, nice and pretty. Can rock these with some black pants, right? Some slim fit pants. So I'm gonna give these a score of, let's go with 83, okay? I'll give these an 83, 83 in the house. Okay? How many is that? That's one, two, three, four, five. That's seven pairs. So we have two pairs left, two pairs left. What we got in here, we got some vans. We got some high top vans. I like these a lot. I don't wear them that often, but they're there. They're clean. I like these. Let's give this an 81. Write down an 81 for these vans. All right. <clears throat> one pair left. All roads lead to this. The mother of all shoes. The mother of all shoes. Oh, you guessed it. 
You know it, okay? Now, the, ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I almost forgot. I almost forgot. What am I thinking? I'm going to get you no know, dirt on these masterpieces. You got to keep these bad boys clean. All right. So let's crack the box open and let's check out the goods. So there it is. Jumpman. See that? Air Jordan 23. There it is. So let me unveil this here. Let me lift off this wrap here. Let me just grab one of these. Ooh, ooh, bro, it's hot, bro. These are hot. These are hot. So check these out. Check these out. Check these out. Very careful. Be very careful. Look at these bad boys. Look at how beautiful. Look at these. These are gorgeous. Look at these shoes. These are Jordan 3s. These were made 10 years ago, but they are brand spanking new. I give these 100. So right, you know what? No, no, no. 105. Extra credit in the house. The white cement Jordan 3s. 105 for this fire in my hand. Okay, so those are the scores that I gave to my shoes. And what were they? They were 80. So I'm catching up to you because you should already have written them down. Yes, you should already have these on your notes. 82, 83, 81, and 105. The white cements got a score of 105. So why don't we construct a box plot? Let's just make a box plot and then you can start your exit ticket, okay? So for that, we need, what we need is, we need the five number Summary. I need the five number summary. So let's unscramble these numbers. Let's write them down from least to greatest. So the smallest number here would be 78. Okay. And that one's done. And then I have 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86. So 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86 and, and what numbers are left so those are gone three four five six and then we have uh the 105 one two three four five six seven eight nine so all numbers have been accounted for now let's label them accordingly so we know that this is the minimum and that this is the maximum now start to count inwards so go in one go in one going again going again so this here that's the median q2 right that's the median q2 and then you ignore it and you look to the left now what's the median there the median would be 80.5 because you have to take the average of them and that would be q1 and then go to the other side go to the other side here so you ignore that, you ignore this, and then the median over there would of course be 85.5, and that's Q3. So now we have to decide on a scale. We're going from 78 to 105, so maybe I can count by, uh, maybe I can count by twos, maybe I can count by twos. So let's see, so let's call this uh, 76, 78, 80, 82, 84, 86, 88, 90, 92, 94, 96, uh, 98, and 100. 76, 78, 80, 82, 84, 86, 88. Yeah, that looks good. So you could count by whatever you want. You could count by ones or twos or threes. I counted by twos. So now uh, let's, let's finish this. So I have a minimum at 78 so put a point there and then my maximum is at 105 so I have to keep going actually 102 104 uh, 106 108 I forgot about this one <laughs> so the maximum was at 105 which is like right here and then you draw a bar a bar a bar at Q1 Q2 Q3 so Q1 is at 80.5 which is about, it's roughly there. Q2 is at 83, which is like right here. 
and then Q3 is at 85.5. 85.5 would be like right there, okay? So we have our boxes here, and then you draw the whiskers like that, okay? So that would be, that would be your box plot. I could ask you, hey, uh, what was the mode? What was the mean? I could ask you, hey, uh, are there any outliers that you see by looking at your box? So I can ask you all kinds of things. So now go to your exit ticket, which is exit ticket four. The answers are at the bottom. Tomorrow, Friday, I'll loop mail you and I'll let you know how you are to turn in your exit tickets to me. So for now, exit ticket number four, go, go, go.